In tonight's Education Watch 10, an elementary school's vision of a playground that's wheelchair friendly, handicap accessible, and safe for students with special needs feels a little bit less like a dream tonight. The noble cause at Davis Park Elementary School in Terre Haute is impressive enough that the school's been chosen as a finalist in a national contest to get help paying for the project. And you can go online to vote for Davis Park's win. Here's News 10's Brent Frazier. From her classroom window, teacher Deborah Walters can see nature at its best, but she also sees the struggle her special needs students face to enjoy it. Among those youngsters is little Colin Krakenberger of Terre Haute, a child with autism whose late mother Jennifer worried about her son's safety on the playground. But at the same time, Jennifer Krakenberger dreamed of a playground at Davis Park Elementary that would be special needs friendly a cause picked up by those who knew and loved Jennifer. We wanted to do something for her in memory of her, and this is the best way we could think, and her son will be directly affected by this. Those pushing for a playground transformation at Davis Park are thrilled by their improving odds in their quest to get assistance from the Kiwanis Club. The potential to be awarded $25,000 to make over entirely this courtyard area outside Walters' window. This will be an enclosed area. General education kids can play here too. Community can come here. It'll be open until 8 o'clock in the evenings. The campaign's being co-led by this mom at Davis Park, a friend of Jennifer Krakenberger's who also has a child with special needs. My child's is a flight risk as well and I take him to Dimming Park and you just can't let him go because he will just keep going and keep running. Those behind the concept want to contain the kids, but give them an infinite amount of not just play, but safe play. So tonight, these ladies hope you'll go online and vote for Davis Park School, for young Colin, for the mother who started this whole idea. With photojournalist Gary Bryan, I'm Brent Frazier, News 10. Ah, very nice. This national contest for that 25 grand toward a playground project is put on by the Kiwanis Club. Any voting has to be done online, so you can link to that website by going onto our website, WTHITV.com.